What's up, guys? This is another episode or another uh, update on my mini Thunderbolt Siren. Here's um, my uh, first attempt at a 3D printed um, low blower, or roots blower, for my mini Thunderbolt. Took apart the uh, centrifugal blower to use screws to put together this one, which I haven't even put the lid on all the way. Here are the gears in the back that drive it. And inside are um, uh, three lobe lobe sets, since I don't know exactly which lobe system, how many lobes a Thunderbolt blower has on one lobe set. So. Yeah. So I just put three lobe blower. And then I put two three lobe blower lobe sets in it. I put two three lobe lobe sets in this blower. There we go. So this one um I did try to lubricate a little bit and it didn't really work that great. Um I uh tried to uh, run it with a pulley and the motor got jammed. I tried to run it with a gear and I nearly ground the gears so so I'm printing a new gear that will hopefully more be, be will hopefully be more compliant with these. They're originally going to make it just like the Thunderbolt, where there's the blower right here, and the motor goes over here, and there's a pulley that goes over here. They had a pulley connected over there somewhere. This one. And then this one on the motor. And, uh... Yeah. I'm going to try to make it work, it is a little sticky, and then I eventually decided to stick a motor somewhere else, like over here somewhere, on the blower floor, that'll have a gear that's um, basically just another one of these, but just a little bit bigger. Which will have these same teeth on them, so it'll be able to grab them a little easier. So here's kind of what the blower looks like running in operation. It's sort of slow mo. It looks just like a Thunderbolt blower, more or less. And I got the other side. Get a better view in there. I'm going to go ahead and show you inside the blower here, I'm going to take the screws off the casing here. Okay, now I got the lid off, you can see what goes on on the insides. Runs better now, because I had the lid off. But I think the only reason uh, it was getting stuck before is that the lobes mysteriously wiggle and make the lid wiggle when I don't have all the lids on, or with all the screws on. So I'm going to go ahead and spin the gears and show you what I'm talking about. I had the screws loosened. Never fell off the table. Had to restart. Um, so watch this. I turn the gear, and the lid moves. So, I tried sanding down the lobes, tried oiling the, the bearings. I tried uh, sanding those bearings, and when I printed this, believe me, it was a huge pain in the A word to get this to actually even spin partially right. I'll show you a slow mo here. I'm just going to kind of show you this in action, and then maybe why it, the plastic might be wobbling. Watch this one right here. I'm going to spin it like this. You know, it wiggles like that, and spin it back around.
everything gets lined up properly. Get okay, the lids back on, sort of. And give the gears a spin, and I'm gonna show you it doesn't spin for as long. Because this can't move now. It doesn't really blow a lot of air, which is kind of <coughs> dumb. It makes the centrifugal blower almost win um, immediately. But I do have another blower floor on the way, which will have a blower pipe so I can put this thing to the actual test if I feel like it. So I test a blow already. thing blew in the air you'd be able to hear wind coming out of it or this thing makes too much noise I don't know but yeah it was kind of a pain in the you know what to get this to actually spin properly so yeah it's another update on my mini Thunderbolt siren oh yeah rotator still broke in there you get that replaced as soon as I can this broken solar panel signing off